Yo, the more purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we caught the legendary Pokemon Mew in Far Away Island somewhere. In today's episode, we're going to be going after another special event, Legendary. So let me go ahead and show you guys the item we need. It's the Aurora Ticket, a ticket required to board the ship to Birth Island. So you can only do this once again through Action Replay or Game Shark because it's not an ongoing event anymore. Well, clearly, it's Emerald. I mean, if there were still events going on with Emerald, I'd be the first one in line. I think it'd be kind of cool. Well, let's see where we go today. The fairy slave port is all that pass. Is it you who brought that odd ticket? Where you're trying to go is an island that's far, far away. No one knows what awaits there. The very thought excites my blood. Get on board, youngster. So the island that we're actually going to is another special island. You know, this one is directed for a special Pokemon, which I'm, I don't want to spoil for you guys. We're here on Birth Island. It's kind of a weird place. It's strange. There's a triangle over here. I really don't know much about this. I know that it's a puzzle. I don't know how to solve the puzzle. But I, I think I can figure it out. I don't think it'll be too difficult. Let me see. I think I'm doing this right. I'm not sure. Wait, could I get this right on the first try? No. Okay. So I think it might take a couple tries for me to figure out this puzzle. So I'll be back in a couple seconds when I've actually done it. Okay, guys, so I think I've finally figured it out. It's actually not that difficult of a puzzle. It's pretty much, well, the way I see it is take the least steps to get to the triangle-looking thing and then just kind of click the wall that's nearest to it. It's not that hard. You know, eventually I figured it out. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer, but it wasn't bad at all. As you can see, it's just turning hotter. It's turning redder. Something's going on. And wait, what's that noise? What is that? What? What's going on? Here we go, Rodri versus Deoxys. All right, guys, so the legendary Pokemon we're going after is Deoxys. It's a pretty crazy Pokemon from outer space. It's come down, it's shooting the beams, it's doing a lot of crazy things. I do have a strategy in mind, though. You know, Deoxys, as you can see, it's only level 30, so our Pokemon do outlevel it by quite a bit. But if you guys remember, Elsa has Confuse Ray. So one of the strategies that I thought what could work is we can't really damage it too much, but it can damage itself. So maybe if we get it, you know, lowered enough, if we get it to lower itself enough, we can maybe catch it. I also think the catch rate of this Pokemon is a little bit higher, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to catch than Mew and the other Pokemon we've gone after. I know, who would have thought they would make a level 30 so hard to catch? Personally, if I was making these special events, I'd make it like crazy. I'd make it like you needed a certain type of Pokeball to catch them. I think that'd be so much more fun if they were like, you had to figure out like which one of all the Pokeballs in the region you have to use to catch this Pokemon. I think little puzzles like that within the battles would be so much fun. But that's just my thinking. I know that Deoxys, you know, is supposed to be like big and strong. I don't know if you guys ever saw the Deoxys movie. I don't remember. It was so long ago. It was pretty cool, though. I think that's the first time I actually got to see Deoxys. And to me, it's always been a very intimidating Pokemon. It seems like a Pokemon that packs a punch, that's really strong, that's hard to take down. It just looks so strange, too. You compare it to any other Pokemon, and it just makes you think, like, where the heck did this thing come from? I know that Pokemon are supposed to come from space. That's what they said. I think I, I remember watching the anime, and they talked about, like, Clefairies coming from space, and that's why they like to go to Mount Moon and... You know, that's where the Moonstones came from and all these weird little theories. But you look at Deoxys and you're like, all right, well, you know, there's Clefairies from the moon. But Deoxys, this dude looks like he's from another galaxy. And it makes you think, like, if Pokemon come from space, then are there other planets out there that are, you know, catching Pokemon as well? Or are there, like, whole planets of just Pokemon out there, you know, running the planet by themselves? What if, like, there are Pokemon out there who are masters of humans mind blown who would have thought you know who would have thought that the pokemon out there have their own planet and maybe they're controlling the humans that'd be crazy i'd love to visit a planet of pokemon i think it'd be kind of cool like imagine just a bunch of like ponytas running around and like a safari a couple arcanine i think it'd be kind of sweet to actually see that well you know maybe someday we'll get to travel to a real world of pokemon who knows maybe someday the video games will get so cool we'll throw on some 3d gear and like really think we're literally in it like if you've seen the matrix we'll have our own little matrix and we'll like be in there we won't even know it'll just be like a pokemon world 
And then someday, like, someone will wake up and realize, like, oh my gosh, the machine's running us. And we're literally, like, in a Pokemon world, in which we think is real. Who knows? We could be in a, a Matrix right now. And what, if we ever woke up, what could be real is the Pokemon world. You never know. I know, just some mind-fudging theories out there for you guys. Just to think, you know, it's kind of crazy. It's one of those things that comes with this whole space dynamic. Just, you know, it kind of makes me think a lot. It makes me think, like what's really out there you never know what could be out there there could be a ton of things out there there could be a legit world of pokemon in real life how cool would that be if like someday like nasa sends out a probe or whatever it is sends out like a little spaceship and they find a world of pokemon i'd be pretty happy i'd be pretty dang happy with that deoxys was caught and I guess he enjoyed our conversation about random strange things in the universe. We're going to go ahead and give Deoxys a nickname. It says, Deoxys, DNA Pokemon's height is 5 feet, weight is 134 pounds. Pokemon that mutated from an extraterrestrial virus exposed to a laser beam. Its body is inferior for superior in agility and speed. Well, that's kind of weird. It kind of gave it an enemy weird doctor voice there. Let's give him a nickname. I do have one in mind. It's kind of, no, it's not that unique. We're going to call it E.T. Like, E.T. Phone Home. You guys ever seen that? E.T., you know, the little, it's like, 90s movie. It's old. With that, we've got Deoxys. I don't think there's anything else we can do here on Birth Island. At least not that I know of. Maybe there's some weird, like, hacks or something you can do. But for now, we've got the legendary Pokemon we came after today. And it's been fun. I actually enjoyed doing a little puzzle with Deoxys. Thanks to you, all of you guys with the tips. A lot of you guys gave me tips on how to catch Deoxys. And gave me a heads up on the puzzle. So I really appreciate that. Next time, guys, we're going to continue doing special event Pokemon or catching legendaries. You know, let me know who you guys want to see next. Or give me some tips on what's coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.